Okay, guys, just about had it with the 20250 throttle body injection. What I did is I gave the entire push rod wall side some area all the way from the roof to the short side because that's where it told me the air wanted to go. So we said, why not give it a little extra area and see what happens? Well, it is not a winner. It's it's close. But we can see it looks like we took a step back as far as liquid here. Notice that's not as wide as it was. We got more chunkiness. Not as wide on the valve. But the bore looks better. So you gotta you gotta it's it's a mix. It's a mixed bag. I did do some flow ball work and it likes a flow ball on the short side. So what is that telling me? It's telling me that short side wants more work. Because you're adding a disruption to the airflow. It's it's making the air able to stick to that curve better. So what do you need to do to that curve to make the air stick to it better? Well, there's a couple things you can do. You can angle it. You can lay it back. You can change the radius. You can change the height. This is a very low short side to begin with. It's also quite thin, so I can't lay it back like I did last time because I went through the casting. This has to be a curve that uh, is able to run. So I think that will be my last cut on these. I also did touch the push rod pinch. It was a little ugly and it was a little fast uh, last cut. So I gave it a little more area and it took a, it took a big, big step back on the roof which is kind of interesting. Okay, from this angle, it really doesn't look bad. In fact, you can see we actually got some speckling all the way on the other side for the first time in a while. It looks pretty good as far as the plug and stuff, but that liquid line definitely got moved over to the right a little bit more. We had an, a serious angle on that before, and now it looks like it's got a belly in the middle and it's moved over to the right a little bit. Okay, as far as our liquid coming up the cylinder wall side, that definitely is thinner than it was. Okay, because I gave it more area on the push rod wall side, it's moving the entire liquid flow over to the cylinder wall side. Is that necessarily bad? I guess it would it would be bad if it severely adverse severely affected our swirl. Okay. Definitely looks like a step back from the last one we got here, but the bore looks better. So, it's hit or miss. Let's take a look at our flows and air speeds. Okay, 14th cut was here, broke through the bolt boss. This one, area on push wall side. So that's the short side radius all the way up to the roof. That entire wall was brought out quite a bit. I took some took some metal out. It's a it's a decent thick cut. Did it like it though? Minus, 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 plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, 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 plus. Now, because this one, the short side really didn't do anything when I put the flow ball on it. This one did. It changed the dynamics of the port enough for it to require some short side work. As far as our swirl, minus equals plus, 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 minus, plus, 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 minus, minus. It's actually a little bit positive in, in the, the swirl side. And it's pretty darn close. I think I would pick that side a little bit better. Let's take a look at our, it's going to be these air speeds versus these air speeds. Okay, I gave it more area in the pinch, so it dropped quite a bit here. Let's put pluses and minuses in. Okay, so because I gave it more area, you would expect the pinch to go down as far as speed, and it did, not much, but a little bit between these two, and it took a big, a big drop at the top. And it also took a big drop on the roof, right? The cylinder wall side of the roof took a big drop. We gained speed, though, on the center of the cylinder. And we gained a tiny amount on our ramp speed. 
264 to 265, almost exactly the same. Now our short side radius is wider now, so we would expect all of these to go down and that's what, just what we did. They are a, quite a bit closer as far as side to side now, okay? And when I look at it, I look at these numbers, I think these should be better. And I think one cut on the short side will make a big difference. So I'm going to do that, and uh, then I'm probably going to quit for today. This one is a relatively short one because it's already 80 plus degrees in the garage. It's ugly already. And uh, I got nothing happening in my heads, guys. Nothing. Okay, you can see I took a decent amount of metal out of this at this point. And you would think, you know, it's giving it a lot more area for to get the air around. It would work better, but obviously it's it's having problems at that point. Now you can see how high I have that short side. Okay, I really didn't take anything off the top. It's just rounded. Hard to get a focus on that, guys. Now let's move it to the other port. Okay, you'll notice how much flatter that is okay because I laid that back quite a bit looking for a high lift flow gains and I decided to just take a piece of solder and go around it you can tell which one's which the top is our 2.1 inch valve and the bottom one is our 202 now the the tall fat short side should help us in the mid-range but it's going to limit us at, at our high lift flow and it's going to lose it at a, at a a lower lift okay so when I say lose it it's going to start separating off the short side so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to knock that back just a touch and uh, see if we can gain a couple of CFM I'd really like I'd really like around 270 at 600 265 at 500 something like that with this size valve I mean, I know it's going to go up in valve size, but I'd like to try to milk it for what I can get on this valve size before moving up. I should state that I floated it with the bolt in with some clay at the top of the bolt. So that was only leaking what it would leak if it was actually installed in a, an engine with a bolt and no sleeve in it. All right, guys. Um... Yeah, we got rust in it because I CC'd it. Did I tell you what the CC was? I think I did in the last video. It was 213.5 CC before I cut that bolt boss out. Now, cutting that bolt boss, you take out a lot of area to move that. Quite a bit. I think we measured it in the last video. It was over 125,000. It's more like 150,000 move out. So that's a few CCs. So, in any case, we're probably 220 plus, and we're not really as good as I would like to be for 220 plus. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I think I'm going to do a little short side work, and then one more flow and call it quits today. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.